Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the thermal expansion uh, dynamos right here. So these are all the dynamos that you have offered to you in thermal expansion. And in these chests are the fuels that they will contain. Not all of them, but a good portion of them. So I'm just going to be kind of doing a quick explanation of what these are, what they do, how you can use them in your um, machinery. So... I guess we'll start off with the most basic one, which is the steam dynamo. Now, the steam dynamo converts water, takes four buckets to fill it up, and then coal, and it produces steam. And this is what gives it the RF energy. Now, coal doesn't really do a ton. I mean, maybe a bit. But these are all the items that you can do. So if it burns, it works. So you can see that there's a lot of things, wood, that make 3,000 RF. And then you start moving into some other things, like uh, if you keep scrolling down, uh, coal has more. There's really a lot of wood. Okay, you get the point. Wood does 3,000. Coal does, I want to say, like 25, 24,000. Yeah, 24,000. So that is the first dynamo here. The second one is this magmatic. Now, if you couldn't tell already, magma. What does magma mean? Lava. Boom. Put some lava in there and you can already see that it's going to start generating some RF. So I'm actually going to put these back. So magmatic, magma. In this one, this is the compression dynamo. The compression dynamo actually takes in uh, two sections. So there is a oil or something that you're going to be burning and then a coolant so these are options for coolants right here so i have just a water bucket it has a temperature of 300 kelvin uh this is the industrial craft 2 coolant bucket which is actually compatible this one also has a temperature of 300 kelvin yet this one actually can handle a little bit more heat because it is a coolant so yeah that can work better than water water still works good but i think it's like the absorption of heat is like 20 percent versus 50 percent but then you have this uh gelid cryotheum bucket i don't know if i'm saying that right but it has a temperature of 50 kelvin so it's it's pretty cold and this one absorbs heat by like 60 percent or something so if we put in say this We'll just plop this in here. This is where your coolant goes. And then this, I'm going to use some creosote oil just as my uh, little bit of oil here. And then you can see that with the coolant in here and the oil going in here, it will then generate some RF. So very nice. Moving over, we have the reactant dynamo. The reactant dynamo is actually kind of cool. So it takes in um, all this cool stuff. So like you can use the dust you can use sugar gas tears gunpowder just all that good stuff but if we grab in some of this destabilized redstone now i actually didn't know what this destabilized redstone was used for but you find this in caves if you go down to the bottom usually you'll find a good pocket of this stuff so now you can actually save it to put into this reactant dynamo Inside of this reactant dynamo, once you've filled it up, you can use sugar or something, and then after a little bit, it will start to give RF. Now, what's actually really cool about this is that sugar, the tiny amount of sugar, produces 100,000 RF. Same with gunpowder. If you put, like, destabilized redstone in here, 100,000 RF. That is amazing. So, this is a really good one if you're looking into that sort of stuff, so... Next one we have here is this Enervation Dynamo. So this one simply just takes redstone or something like that. If you look here, it can take redstone, it can take tools, it can take capacitors, it can take tools again. Just all this stuff. And it will either, I think it drains the energy and it puts it into this dynamo. So you see the, the redstone was used. It's not all the way done, but I can put this in here. And this will give six. 140,000 RF. So yeah, Enervation Dynamo, extremely good. I would recommend using this. And then last one we have this Numismatic Dynamo. Now, Numismatic is kind of currency. So if you have uh, Thermal Expansion has coins, so the coins will be used in this. So I have an emerald in here. I don't have the coins, 
But if we put an emerald in here, just by it being in here, give it a little bit and it'll start generating RF. So you can see that it has like tin coins, uranium coins, dat, dash coins, just all the coins here will generate some sort of RF based on their material uh, level. So you see that um, iridium being extremely rare produces 100,000 RF and stuff like um, gold coin will produce 40 but there's also stuff like tin which is extremely common here which will produce 30,000 RF. So those are all of the dynamos. I hope you learned something today about them. This was kind of just a short tutorial about what all these do so that for future um, thermal expansion videos that I do on this channel, you will know what these dynamos do. I didn't do how to make them yet. I might do that some other time. But yeah, if you want to know anything more about these, if you want to know my recommendation at least, I would definitely go with this innervation one. I would go with this reactant dynamo and I would go with this uh, numismatic one, especially with the emerald here. Because the emeralds, if you look down, produce 200,000 RF. However, I would definitely take this innervation dynamo over the rest of them. So, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye everyone. Have a great day.